Any questions? Question. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we have a question from online. So last year with the VT10, there was an issue after about 500 hours of use, some people saw the black levels rising. Do you know if that's an issue with this year's set, or if you taking um, steps to? Well, I mean, I, I can answer that. I don't mind answering it. It's one of these things that uh, I know a lot of questions are out there on the web about that. Um, there's, we've been testing. Yeah, we well first for the shootout, we're talking about only VT25 product or a VT20, the VT25. But secondly, to answer the question, um, essentially, uh, we had David Kazmai from CNET. He's actually has a, a G series and an and a uh, VT25, he's kept them. He's been obviously up to date with CNET in, and actively letting people know he has not seen any loss at all on anything. So mm -hmm. there's really nothing more to say about the comment there. Okay. The he's burned, there, he's so. burned them in for well, and used them for well over a thousand hours, <laughs> and there's exactly. been no ra raising. Right, black. there's nothing, no raising. I know Robert's had this TV well, for this quite some time. Uh, early July, actually, so. and we've seen no measurable, nothing that we can measure. That's changed. So, uh, and we leave this TV on a lot because it's a beautiful TV to display, as well as we want to do a very thorough minimum of thousand hour breaking. So we don't see any measurable, nothing we can measure with the instruments we have. By the time you guys, that's a good point. Thank you. Thank see you. See this rise, right? You'll be in the market for another place. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody hear that? That's, that's really so true. By the time. On, on, from the enthusiast perspective, by the time this stuff actually starts happening, you're going to be in the market for the for the best panel on display at that point in time anyway. So at this point, I would say it's, it's kind of like irrelevant, but, you know, the question still stands. I, I understand that, but don't worry about it. And that's from D-Nice himself. <laughs> <laughs> D-Nice certified. D-Nice certified. Yeah. 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 I'd like to understand if you calibrate the display in your regular movie mode mm -hmm. with the Rec 709 colors and the grayscale, you know, you can actually delete them by accident. Yeah. Okay. In, but, but in some sense, so you. How, how does it change if you then calibrate it in THX, like in that mode? Well, it, there's certain color points to Rec 709 and there's certain color points to okay. THX. So THX is not Rec 709. Yes, it yes, is. Yes, it is. No, that THX certification requires that you get within point. 004 on white and 0.005 on um, most colors, but 10 on green within the Rec 709 spec. So most definitely it is. However, on this particular TV with the ISF C3, you can go in with the control cal to create those modes. You can achieve the same thing because there are controls in there which we'll go over later, color management system, where you can do the same thing as what THX is providing with a fixed mode. The problem with THX mode in this particular product and some others that I have a problem with, since you brought it up, is it's a great preset, it's real close, but I go in there and I'll measure things like grayscale and go, oh gee, it needs to be fine-tuned, and guess what, I can't, because they lock you out of those advanced menus to do that. Um, therefore, we have now the ISF mode where we can go in and we can actually do that. But the answer is, yeah, Rec. 709 is the standard. That's the reference we're trying to replicate, and THX most certainly requires you to do that. Otherwise, I don't give you certain. So THX okay. is for people that don't want to calibrate, basically. No, it, I wouldn't say that. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wanted to THX for the environment. I, right, I think the right. whole idea here is that we're they're striving to, together as manufacturer and THX to create a mode that is really close to where we want to be. So let's face it, I mean, I'm all about calibration, right? But um, Joel told us yesterday that we've finally reached 2% of the people in America actually have had their TVs calibrated, <laughs> which if you count the TVs is actually a fair sized number. But relatively speaking, very few people are getting it calibrated. But okay, so if you're not going to spend the money for calibration, THX mode is the best way to go on this set or on any set that has that. I mean, and to Kevin's point in terms of for the environment that you're placing your TV, that's why these guys are in the business. All environments are different, you know, so they can get it as accurate to 709 themselves that THX or a preset, you know, can try and try, but it's it's not. Because you do so well, you get scrutinized very critically. That's right. and this black level question, floating blacks, a different question. Uh, some other questions, which were inferred there. I'm just curious, as the 
what how the flow of information and the responsiveness between this in, this community that creates this idealized uh, of, of trying to idealize and get the best possible scenario how does that flow how is the flow of information to the engineers and to Japan how does that work do we actually do we are that's, we heard that's actually uh, that's I mean, that's actually basically. yeah that's funny because okay. that's what I do I, I actually work with that's my job. Well, it's in terms just of I'm involved give with a, a, of, a little insight. Of, I think it would be fascinating. insight, but not. I mean, it's all I, I know Japan's decision on in terms of. But you know, do what they, they hear? Do, do they hear? Uh, do, yes, they hear, and they will do further research. Is the answer one? Uh, and I'm sure most of you have heard that, that. In terms of, guys, absolutely. Simply, I'll put it very simply: the fact that the companies involved with the ISF and THX, I think, mm -hmm. answers the question. Yeah, they are true. listening. They're providing something that. 2% of Americans want. I think that's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. um, not every manufacturer is doing it, but the fact that they're um, working with Joel Silver, incorporating ISF day and night modes, ISF C3, working with uh, THX to get certified. I can tell you, because I work with some companies that, and I deal with THX, this is not an inexpensive venture. It costs a lot of money to get THX certified. Uh, there are there are major fees involved just to get your product tested, let alone once it passes and the rest of it. I'm not going to get into that detail, but I think it's clear that they're listening to us because we've been asking for this for you know year in and year out. They're coming back and giving it to us now. And uh, uh, well, that's good to hear from you. I mean, I, you know, sometimes it's hard to to know. I mean, yes, there are ways in which I you know totally I agree with what you're saying, and then there seems like there, well, you know, there's like, little, you know, sort of little, there may be some cancellation in frequency response that, that just doesn't get heard. I understand, but I, you know, across the board in this room from one year, from last year to this year, the performance level on every one of these TVs, the bar has been risen significantly. Last year, we had a couple of real dogs in the room. And I'm not going to say who they were because I'm not trying to beat anybody up. We don't have that this year. We have, some, we have sets that are better than others. We do not have a sore thumb that's sticking out saying, laugh at that one because it's so terrible. Um, so I, I think to a, some degree, all the manufacturers are listening to the enthusiasts and the files that are asking for better performance, and some more than others. I, I can say for a fact there's a great deal of attention on these issues at Panasonic. I personally am involved in them. So a lot of information. You know, people are asking how many subzones are on a TV, okay? You're not going to give out all of your specs, and neither can Panasonic. These are proprietary advantages, and Pioneer was the same way, and we are clearly listening. There's a great deal of attention focused on all of these issues because we are very much aware that the performance of plasma and Panasonic is um, why people buy them. And in the, uh, the issue there with 3D, is, is 3D just maybe a marketing, you know, advantage or a way to... Our 3D improvements that Jason talked about for the, the phosphor improvements and a lot of the high speed and image processing um, make the best 2D picture even better. Even better. The VT25 2D, it's, it's kind of like the best 2D that, oh, by the way, it does 3D. So yes, it's, it's a tremendous it amount of attention on these it's issues. It's so much dynamic range, it's actually great three-dimensional. 